know what I mean? You say to a kid, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yeah, more time, more time they're going to do it, right? They're going to do it. But, Shut your mouth. But, I'm, I'm nah, being nah, honest. Just, well, like, now, I've never had in my life just like a really, reggae stuff. Really yeah. This is the answer. What is the I'm question? Just, I'm so sorry. Question I'm gonna have a... What are we doing here? And who are we going back to? Where we came from? Can you bring up this sound every week? Okay. Thank you. And you're very definitive to say, if you can hear God, then that has to be a mental illness. That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> but in terms of your faith, um, uh, let's... Uh, <laughs> I'd like to say the Shahada, please. Really? <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm not trying to take... I'm not no, trying to no. The, the thing but is... I know, that, I know that's what you guys do, innit? That's there's... I mean, to, to be honest, you... You acknowledge that this life is only one, yeah? We're all going to have to pass away. This world came into being and there will come a time that this world will end. So logically speaking, rationally speaking, it is something that we do need to spend time getting to the bottom of. And like we did with the um, Israel-Palestine issue, I think when it comes to religious dialogue, it's very important as well here. And especially knowing that our death can come any minute and knowing that all of this cannot have just sprung from nothing. What, well, yeah, you know what I mean, now what, you're saying... What, what is your view? Let's, let's unpack that. What's your view about how it all started? Sure, so I don't... I'm a firm believer in unbelief, you know. I, I'm a militant unbeliever. I, I, I don't know that this is happening right now really that much. I'm not, not that lucid, you know. I think, I think we're eternally on the, on the periphery of of understanding you see when people's people's minds just go man people people deteriorate i i fully agree that death is coming death is all we're born to receive that is that is what i that is what i believe and i think that that's okay i think that there we we're, we're very grateful to to be able to to talk um uh, and communicate but i think realistically it's 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 chaos We've it's, jumped to the end of the story, to the death bit. Let's jump to the start. How do you believe that it all started? It doesn't concern me. I don't, I, I don't, and I don't, think it's a waste of everyone's time. Really? Yeah. Beginning, how everything began. Yeah, it's a waste. Of, you, you, things, things are... See, you, you believe in a level of moral objectivity, of, of having some kind of unifying idea that, that kind of bolsters you and keeps you safe and eventually will take you to Jana, right? Paradise. But but I think it's, it's a lovely thing to do and I really admire and respect it because it takes a lot of discipline and a lot of hard work. Um, but I think to an extent it doesn't, it doesn't really matter how we came into being. We're barely here right now, you know what I mean? We're, what do you mean by that? Well, you know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, life it feels is, pretty straightforward that we're here we experiencing the world with but our But you were minds. asleep, right? You were asleep and you were in some you were in some dream state. And you can I think it's often very hard to differentiate between those two things. And they just and they, and they, you know, really? when you wake up, when you no, I don't mean all the time, yeah. I'm not <laughs> yeah. I'm not mad. But um, <laughs> but but I think that you You're know, gonna have to unpack this re to, to reality <laughs> reality is fleeting, I think, for many people. And I think oftentimes in, in, in various religious books... The thing, the thing, Hugh, is I, I think if a person is a true seeker, don't underestimate or don't trivialize any part of the journey. If we look even in terms of us as human beings, there's, there's a beginning, there's a middle, there's an end. In a story, there's a beginning, there's a middle, there's an end. In the, in the life cycle of what's around us, in, in plants, plants start off as seeds, they then grow into shrubs. We think then. that now, we think that now. But in, in, in 10 years, someone comes, they say, oh yeah, uh, actually, we're aliens, and we were just doing... No. What's up, well, sir, so good to see you outside. <laughs> good to see you outside, you come here every day. I think Ali's going to be happy to hear that. <laughs> I'm going to try, inshallah. Oh, inshallah. Well, yeah, sorry, plants and seeds. How are you? Mashallah, barakallahu feekum. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Barakallahu feekum. Mashallah, alhamdulillah. Mashallah, mashallah. 
Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Alhamdulillah, how are you? Thank you very much. Good. <laughs> you guys just, uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm good. Came to Gatton Road. You know what? We, how are you? I'm good, mate. How are you? You all right? It's high. Yeah. Yes, Every night, we should show you YouTube videos. No way. And now we still watch YouTube videos. Look, it's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's, he's raised well, my friend, that you raised him on a good day of Swan to Judna. Every night before you sleep, What? I don't know, know, man. I, I've got some say more to say to you, mate. Wait to you. Oh, to you. that's amazing. So you don't know what you're doing, my friend, because before you used to watch pranks. Yeah. And it was okay, but it wasn't nothing wrong. And suddenly, you wanted something jokes. Yeah. The jokes were not perfect to the team. Oh, sure, so like no, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yes, yes, yes. Are you coming here every Sunday now? I'm going to try. I've, I've got holidays now from work. So I'm going to try. You're teaching? I'm a teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know about this? <laughs> so, alhamdulillah. I mean, on the weekend, I'm going to try to come. Because we do filming on Saturday as well, so just keep myself busy, isn't it? Sorry, sorry. So are you finished? Uh, uh, no, I think we're still going. I'm going to cut for now. Okay. No, I've just finished the conversation with you. Can I take a picture? You can do it. Do you want me to take one? Thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> Is it still running, yeah? Alright. Alright, so plants. Yeah, plants. Plants, you, yeah. So they got they You're got talking seed. about the philosophy they of science. They, they pollinate, yeah, and, and we firmly believe that now. And I believe probably at the moment that's that's a reasonable thing to think. Just like I think Islam's a reasonable thing to think. It's perfectly reasonable. It's a philosophy that governs the world. Why not take that on board? But in, in you know what I mean, in an hour we could we could learn some brand new piece of information that completely Okay, let's that unpack that then. So you're saying maybe an alien. The thing is, you. I'm not. A, a, no, I'm no, not no. a firm alien guy. That's but it could be an alien. It could be a no kind problem. of. You know, no problem. No problem. Octopus. Let's, let's throw stuff out there. Octopus of, or alien. No problem. What do you prefer? There's, there's going to be certain fundamental truths that aren't going to change. Yeah. Regardless of what is discovered or what's not discovered, everything has a beginning. Yeah. Cause and effect that exists. I don't. Yeah? I don't know if that's. That's our understanding of, that's a linear way of thinking about things. But, that's, but that might only be because we can only utilize a certain percentage of our brain, you know? We, we can, we're, everything's are three dimensions, right? What if there's 20 more, you know what I mean? So, and, and in that context, saying everything has a line and an end, sorry, a start and an end, that might be like, I don't know, like, like you know, like trying to explain a phone to someone. The, like from the Stone Age, like how how can you explain that to them? Like the fact that there has been so much that we have not known, and now know, seems it seems stupid. No, sorry, no, I'm sorry. Be so yourself, did, no, you. no, 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 no. You don't keep I just mean stupid uh, uh, from a personal perspective, not from a yeah. you know. It doesn't seem stupid to do these things, but in terms of making determinations of a start and an end and things like that, it seems stupid I'm, to I'm be well, so I'm well aware of that. that view, that's why I can appreciate where you're coming from. But sometimes it can seem frustrating, especially when you think that it's just never-ending, there's many things that we don't know and we can't rationalise everything, and it's just too much to put into one human brain. I, I absolutely appreciate that. And I know it's... Um, uh, I can appreciate that, but I, I still would would, um, would put, put, put this forward that there is a fundamental truth and cause and effect... For you to say that cause and effect would change, you would in essence have to say that things can pop out of nothing. So matter from, from where there is no matter. And when you start believing that things can just But you've just you've just yeah. said for me to say there's no start and an end I'm saying something can pop out of nothing but you're just using start and an end again you know what I mean you're using yeah. the same rhetoric that I'm saying doesn't exist you're saying start and end doesn't okay. I'm just saying that's why I say I'm a militant agnostic I really don't believe in belief but I also think anyway it could be I think lots of the ideas are nice but I don't think there's any point in in putting your your eggs in any of these baskets to uh, let's, let's just say I came to you then I said you know what I'm, I'm interested uh, in, in your kind of philosophy of life convince me how would you start um, I don't know man because what you're doing there because you're, you're the one that asked me to 
Okay, okay yeah. if it's possible. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, just just to clarify, I'm not. I'm just trying to say if you can wrap it up if it's possible. Yeah, but yeah, if you're in a good yeah, conversation, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no. If you guys are in a good point, carry on. Yeah, we about a minute or two. Yeah. Okay. No yeah, problem. Well, yeah. 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 This, yeah. Point, this was not my main no, purpose. Can you bring him every week? Can you say it on camera, please? Yes. Can you bring him this on every week? Okay. You know, you would like to see his BN is feature. Inshallah. Make two hours. But, but the thing you've done there is... You know what? Uh, uh, Ali, 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 take it. Let me just speak to him off camera. No, 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 finish yeah, off. No, 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 because I'm this, fine with this, that. this conversation's, I mean, it's a bit... No, no, no. It's wishy-washy, hairy-fairy, isn't it? Oh, wait, wait, what's the conversation now? I don't know, like, with, with him... Hello. <laughs> yeah. With him, he, he doesn't agree with any kind of set mechanism. He believes that things can change. And for us to pin ourselves to one mechanism, it's just it's illogical. So why do you carry on? Is there a special reason? No, no, no. I mean, it's not. Like, yeah. Okay, if you believe that. I'm genuinely interested. Filming in the music. Video. Okay, so you want to take off camera? No, no. You, you do your thing. Bro. No, 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 no. Not because of that. But I'll carry on. No, no. no. I'm here till seven. I told him he's chilling. Yeah. I just said to you for the. Uh, bro, if it, if it, if I wanted to do the recording, I would have told you. Okay, no. Just wrap it up. Yeah. Wrap it up. It's because because so I'm gonna blow like his mind, mind when I'm like this. He's scared. It's because of camera. You're little boy. Is that is that you think? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you think? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Okay, so. But yeah, what you've done there is you, you flipped, you flipped it on me to imply that I would be evangelical about my. No. What well, I've said is, if if you what you're learn saying, about yeah, but, I wanna I wanna see where you're coming from, so I could see if that would be a viable path for me to take. But yeah, there's there's many. Uh, presuppositions within what you're saying there because the idea that it's a path as if it has some kind of point the idea so there's no point or path here no point or path man and I think, but it's lovely it's, it's it's pleasant from my subjective reading of reality it's lovely it's, it's pleasant Is it though, yeah i'm having a wonderful time talking to you i feel like i you know i Things like empathy and, and respect, you know, these are, what if things these are were notions to go wrong? that come from consensus. What if things were to go wrong in your life? How, things how would have you deal? gone wrong in my life. How, how, how do you deal with it? How do you rationalize it? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the most normal thing that could be. Believe it, I believe we come from chaos. And so when, when chaos rears its head, that makes complete sense. That's, yeah. the, most, that's the most rational thing. So you think that's so you're saying when things go wrong that's just a consequence of chaos but isn't chaos itself a mechanism as well mm, no nah, not not really chaos is a mechanism no nah, it's yeah, not chaos really, theory that's it saying yeah maybe chaos theory in a scientific context but i'm, I'm the broad conceptual you're notion. The dictionary <laughs> definition well yeah theory. i don't know it don't, but you know yeah the, the the, the feeling of, I need, I need of, of, of chaos and, I, and it's not like a mania like a, it's, it's just a, a, a presentness you know and it, an immediacy that, that there is there is merely this this moment now and I appreciate that that yeah you, you don't think that what about when you hear of people like the Prophet Muhammad as now, historical figures and what they've achieved and what they've done what I'm gonna to say now I really don't want you to I'm disrespectful of any, but I think for me, where we've, where we've existed previously, a more cut off, uh, isolated community, away from the, the kinds of uh, technology resources and medicine we have now. And I know this this is a very, this isn't what you're gonna say a bunch around, around a bunch of believers. No, this is quite interesting. But I believe you're saying I believe that we did not no no yeah. no I believe we did not have a diagnosis for for many of these mental illnesses. And enough times these days when you see people that say that God is speaking to them, it's quite clearly you know, it's, a, it's a mental illness. But that doesn't having a mental illness does not inhibit you from being able to be incredibly productive. Some of the some of the great doesn't this contradict your world view as well, if you, if you can class that? Because you're saying there's many things that we don't understand and we can't classify. Yeah, so yeah, where yeah. you've been quick to classify something as a mental illness and you're very definitive to say, if you can hear God, then that has to be a mental illness. When you yourself have just admitted that there's many things that we don't understand, science we can't 
pin down and say, okay, that theory is right, we may learn other things. Wouldn't you say that this could also be one of those things that many people don't understand yet, whilst many people do? That could be the case. That could be the, I, I, and that's what I'm saying. That's the purpose yeah. of, like, I'm saying this is a theory that I don't necessarily completely subscribe to because the thing with religion is that you have to completely subscribe to so it. So then going back to the, the Prophet Muhammad then, hearing how he was as a historical figure, what do you say about that? Like you initially said it was because certain groups of people were locked off from humanity, yeah? I think various prophets over, over the years, the, a, a potential hypothesis from my perspective is that a lot of these people were saying they could talk to God. You know, they say about Moses and the burning bush being like DMT or some psychoactive substance. There's all kinds of things that we have so a, are you a saying, means of contextualizing yeah. in a modern context, which I also completely agree could this modern context could be nonsense tomorrow. However, I am within it, I am present within it right yeah. now. And so I I, th I think there's there's many because in your in your worldview you can't accept it nor deny it. Yeah, it? exactly. So that's that's what you think about say the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. What about a book like the Quran with the linguistic miracles that it has, with regards to prophecies that it's made? How do you rationalize that? How do you rationalize Harry Potter? By looking into it and critiquing it, and if it lives up to a certain critique, then you say, okay, it's tick these three, four yeah, boxes. But at the end of the day, if you're a book reviewer, I'm a book reviewer, we both read Harry Potter, I think it's amazing, you hate it, cool, you know what I mean? That's, yeah. a, that's, a, that, that, that's, that's my perspective. So you, you take an innate As a book meaning reviewer. From, from, the, from the Quran, but to me, it's, it's a series of words, you know, and that's cool. And, and I can't speak upon it as I haven't read it. I haven't, I haven't I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why that's, cool. that's very important here. Harry Potter is read for entertainment, yeah? It's read just maybe to increase your vocab, to get some ideas about imagination, etc. The Quran, on the other hand, is a manual on how to live life, Which, on, on how to have morals, on how to deal with people. You know what those things do? They entertain your soul, so it's the same. I, I wouldn't say they entertain your soul, I would say they feed your soul. Okay, and, because and, and Harry Potter feeds my soul, so mm. what? When, I, when you say feed, also, feed I don't is care a, for the Harry Potter books particularly. Yeah. It was merely well, a you popular, seem to be defending it. <laughs> yeah, it feeds I your soul, apparently. Crazy. Yeah, man. It feeds. No, but yeah. I say. The thing is, what we're doing is we're just playing with words. But the thing, bro, is one is existence, life. What am I doing here? It's much more deeper and cannot be linked in the slightest with entertainment. Entertainment is a fleeting feeling. Whilst purpose is something which is deep rooted. So I, I, I completely disagree with that to an extent because sometimes in music, music is entertainment, right? But for the closest thing I've had to any kind of spiritual feeling, some kind of just feeling of inner peace, which I know has been via entertainment. So to, to cast it off as this thing that, that you know, I don't, okay, I don't buy is, that at all. What is inner peace according to you? No, it's 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 just a more positive feeling within that particular moment. I don't understand. Okay, so at the moment you feel okay, but no, I someone, feel happy because I'm speaking uh, to well, you. Okay, at the moment you feel happy. Okay. I but, wouldn't say I have inner peace speaking to you. <laughs> you see the difference? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, one's happy, one's inner peace. Inner peace could be I could be in an argument with somebody, I'm, I'm, I'm but using, I'm content. I'm using religious terms, which probably you know, like spiritual terms, which probably unhelpful if I'm trying to say <laughs> I am not spiritual or religious. So yeah, you're sending mixed messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you know what I mean. I've I've still observed. It's it's what my observation of what I feel that I I can understand the reason you you prostrate five times a day. I can understand. I've been to That's mosques. Right. But what's I, inner peace according to you? Well, I think you think. That's what you feel then. I think that's what you think you feel then. And I think that's what I thought I felt then. Okay, what is what is it that you feel at, at that situation? You're gonna say it's God, right? You're gonna say it's the it's the creator, it's it's the power of the undefinable. Let's see. I, I might think, say that, I might not. I think <laughs> I think it's being at one with that chaos. So you feel inner peace when you're at one with chaos? Absolutely. 
And which sort of music do you listen to? Uh, dub music. So you're saying when you listen to dub music, you so feel... dub dub music, as in like dub reggae music, which has, you know, it's very very religious music. It's Rastafarian music, you know. It, it is. Right? You're, you're a big contradiction, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you, you can. I I'm very interested in religion and culture and 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 everyone and, I, and I'm a firm believer that everyone should be able to you know get on with their their 100%. stuff. But 100%. but to actually you know take something on as a as a fundamental liberty a way I would I would live my life to me is it's not, it's not, uh, I couldn't do it. That's fine and that's absolutely okay at this moment in time. But you've also acknowledged that just like science can change human beings can change, our understandings can change, our consciousness can change. So, I mean, that's that's fine, you may be thinking like that at the moment, but we're just unpacking, so you're saying you feel inner peace when you listen to reggae music, which is... Man, I sound like such a, like, Reggae a slash dub. I'm, I'm <laughs> nah, being nah, honest, just, wallah, nah, I've never had in my life just like a really, reggae a slash really dub. Loud, it's more so <laughs> a really loud bass vibration. It moves, it moves. It you know, they have, yeah, they, it resonates. So they have it in Buddhism with the singing bowls or or a dong or, it's actually or, there's, or there's the call a lyric. to prayer, the call to prayer. There's, you know, there's, there's a lyric. lots of beautiful vibrations, and that's why they amplify it so much yeah. at, uh, on the Hajj. Okay, so you're saying vibrations is something which which really resonates with you, yeah? Some so good ones. Okay, and that gives you inner peace. It it gives me what. Yeah, it gives me a, a feeling I enjoy, a pleasant feeling. Okay, then what's your definition of, of joy and happiness? My, it's, it's irrelevant, you know what I mean? It's, I, don't, I don't necessarily know if it, joy, it's, it's a release of serotonin, some say, some say it's the voice of God. What some do you say? say? I don't say, that's don't my whole point, I don't say, I don't say. You've, you're, hear, you're, you've used the word happiness and joy a couple of times as I well. I know, and of course, you know what I mean? I'm, and if you're using it, you should know what I it means. I appreciate it. it. seems like I want to have my cake and eat it. I'm saying I don't, I don't believe in anything. Also, now I'm going to reference very, I'm going to pick little parts of it. Yeah, I got, And I listen could, to reggae slash dub. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I, I recommend it. Do you, do you listen to music? Uh, I don't know. So you just spoken voice? Yeah, mostly right. voice only. Acapella stuff as well. Acapella stuff, nature, people. I like listening to people. Well, you know, there's music in all of that. There's music in all of that. But is there any particular reason? Particular reason about? Yeah, why you don't listen to music? Oh, yeah, because music. Well, firstly, it's a religious belief that we've been told not to listen to music just because of the control and influence that it can have over you at a detrimental level. Does that not contradict what you say about having free will though? Surely you can you can control yourself, I can, right? I can listen to it. All oh, right, you just choose not to. Yeah, I choose not okay, to because, sure I mean, just like I can eat something forbidden, it's not right. like I'm going to be... Absolutely. Yeah, I have free will to eat that, but um, I, I just choose not to. And that's where, of course, if you were a Muslim, you'd choose to do certain things. Just like you get certain Muslims that choose to do some things that are pro their faith, some things that are anti their faith. But coming back, I can feel where you're going with this. You're going to a level of... I'm where, just, trying, you, to, I'm just you... trying to understand where you come from. So you said inner peace, but the reason why I ask you what happiness means to you is because I genuinely think that you're conflating the two and, and confusing the two. That's why I want to see if you understand the distinction. But when I ask you about happiness, you're saying it's not important. But I... I, I don't think that you should be putting yourself in a position where you're saying that's not important, that's not important. It's good to understand everything, whether you want to follow it or whether you agree with it or disagree with it, that's, a, that's another issue. But to say that, oh, now happiness, definition of happiness is not important. You know what I mean? You say yeah. to a kid, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> yeah, more time, more time they're going to do it, right? Is they're going to do it. But, Shut your mouth. But do, but do they understand what happiness is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. Yeah. Our memory is running out, Zishan. He's recording in 4K. <laughs> Why? Why is he recording in 4K? <laughs> Why record this? In? All you're going to get is like my pimples and... Oh, man. <laughs> uh, what was the last thing that you said? Yes. Yeah, if you're happy and you know... So, if you ask a child what's happiness, the child won't say... But 
but they'll clap their hands, they're, they're responding yeah. to that. But yeah? if you ask a child what's happiness, no child's going to say it's not important. I don't care what happiness is. Yeah, of Do you course, see? of course. That That's because that. they exist within systems of learned behaviour. And so they've learned a definition of what happiness is and they will repeat that back So have you as well? Yes, absolutely. And that's what I want to know what that definition is. Well, you know, it's just... I don't know, antithetical to sadness, you know. And what That's sadness? Not a definition, though, what is it? sadness? You know, but but you don't define what what day-to-day -day things are so much. You know, they exist in a. Well, you can to you. For example, if somebody says, "What's happiness to you?" Happiness to me, I would say now, is standing here, having good health, being able to converse with you, having these wonderful faces, sure. listening. That I would class as happiness. Unhappiness was if I'm like this and he's got the camera out and it starts, it starts raining. It would make me sad. Yeah, so I'd be able to link my behaviors to certain categories. But when I start saying, oh, I'm feeling like this, like what? Oh, it's not important. But, but then you're expressing that. In the, in, in the parameters of learned behavior and learned language, all, all things that I've previously stated from my perspective on things, I think could be irrelevant very soon. Yeah. Happiness is all those same things that they are to you as they are to me. Having a full belly, you know, a paid check, it's all alright, like everything's okay. I'm with, with my partner, you know, my family's alright. Are you married yet? Yeah. Yeah? No, no, no. You got a partner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was just curious. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. Not girlfriend, girlfriend. Okay. What, however, you know, just we've been going out a while, so if you want to okay. say something. Yeah, but one thing I, I will say because you did say wrap up is you said you've never read the Quran yeah and you're open to consciousness evolving and changing and your awareness of life changing and yes agreed in the current system that we're in being creatures of habit being creatures of what's around us and we learn from we, we learn from what's around us we learn from the news we learn from each other and seeing as we were discussing at the start of this conversation as well, there's a lot of media coverage on Muslims, there's a lot of media coverage on, on Arabs and, and stuff like that. And that does consciously or unconsciously, it does affect us. So you do seem like somebody that doesn't get affected by that too much because of the initial conversation that we have. Yeah? Otherwise you would have fallen in that trap and you would have just been following along just like a twig in the ocean with, sure. with, with a wave. So I, I would say um, just like reading any other book i would say take time out and also read the quran as well and just like you're very open in terms of your thinking you'd be surprised some of the aunt some of the things are, are in fact that's uh, that's incorrect not some of the things i would say all of the things all of the things if you're reading it with an open mind and you're reading it with a rhetoric you're reading it with the art of linguistics and everything you'll take it yeah. Uh, no, you're saying it's... Yeah, yeah, take it away. So you're saying... Um, yeah, so... Because if, if you read it with understanding of, of rhetoric, of metaphors, of similes, uh, of context... You can shut your mouth. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I just need to get something on this table. It's not recording. Someone just accept shahada. Oh, mashallah, no way. Yeah, sorry, can you give me a feel? Shut Get this thing in the back. I think he's going to accept very soon. You're, you're coming from a view that things change, there's no set morality, anything can happen, science can change, we can change. I'm not coming from that view. I'm telling you there is one definitive way. We have the answer, this is the answer, and I'm saying all I need you to do is read it. And you will see why I'm coming from this. This is yeah. the answer, what is the I'm question? Just, I'm so sorry. Question I'm gonna... is what are we doing here? And who are we going back to? Where we came from? What our purpose is? How do we speak to our parents? Ask yourself a different question. Uh, can, we ask I a question? can we ask a question? Because I've got a person who's going to tell you. Can you take it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just here, if you guys can carry on. Yeah. I've got my... Oh, you're doing your hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay.